Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Welcome everyone and welcome back to Painting Watercolours with me, Colin. Uh, I've chosen this one today, it's Pack Horse Bridge at Washgate Ford. Uh, this tree doesn't exist and this one doesn't. There was a track down here, I didn't want that either. Which just tells you that you can change your idea of what you want. And I found an old palette from a long time ago. This is about 10 years old so I thought we'd use the paint in it. So this is some Naples yellow, a little bit of transparent yellow. I don't have to make that too strong and I've masked out some of the trees well all of the trees and the tops of the bridge some parts that I just want to keep clean around the sides I want to drag in some cobalt blue that's a little bit of quinacridone rose I'll be dropping some colours into that I don't mind if I get a bit of green so into that I'm going to take some of the quinacridone rose just drop it into there I'm just going to drop this in, just create a, a mid-violet colour. Bringing it through into the yellow. I'm going to bring some of the transparent yellow in here. This is a big grassy bank which I've shortened off. Put a tree in because there was nothing really in it. I always remember to fill under the bridge in. I'm going to take some Viridian Green some of the quinacridone rose take some of the yellow just to create that green and we can bring some of this down on here some burnt sienna I'm going to take some burnt sienna I'm going to drop this in well quite strong for the bridge some of this green more yellow to it a little more rose to it I'm going to drop some of this in as well right, I'm going to throw a little bit of that down here some of the transparent yellow in I'm just going to take some of the rules and drop this in as well I just want a little bit of extra colour in it I'm just going to bring these colours together very gently Letting mingle with the grass, attaching the bridge to the ground. One or two darker patches in it. This is a lovely ginger red burnt sienna. Now before we put the background bushes in, we're going to have to let this dry off a little bit and I'm just going to mop up where it's coming into the river. The background has started to dry off but the paper is still damp so I'm going to take some of this Viridian again but I want it thicker. I'll drop that in there. Take some of the yellow. A little touch of the purple just to take the edge off it. I'm going to take a natural sponge and dip it, squeeze it out and pick a rough edge that might be suitable. Take some paint onto it and we're just going to fold in some background bushes. Think about the shape. Then I'm just going to let that dry. Now you 
first layer is dry, I'm going to take some more of the Viridian darken this. Maybe a little bit of the cobalt blue in there. And that might be enough. And we can begin to put a second coat on it. Once again, that will have to dry. Once that layer is dry, I'm going to take some more Viridian with some French Ultramarine just to deepen it. Want a bluey green. Then into that, I want some burnt sienna. Take it to a rich darker green, just a tiny bit of water. Just take my sponge once again. I want to darken up under the bridge quite a bit. And around the top. Just adding some darker shadows to these trees and bushes. Green, French Ultramarine, Burnt Sienna, just to get it really dark. Try not to fill it all in. Bit of this colour into it as well. A bit of the purple that's in the sky. The Viridian. Maybe some in the background here. Slightly different colour, just to give it a, a different flavour. Take a little water, I might even just soften this in. I'm just adding a little dark in here as well. Again, just adding a little water and just softening this in. Also, what's left down and pull some branches and trees through. It just gives structure to you, to your background bushes. And then that must all dry. I've just re-wet these two trees here. I'm going to start with the back one. I'm going to take some of the cobalt blue with just a touch of a cobalt violet in it. I want this to be reasonably weak. I've also taken all the masking fluid off. Put it in a touch of the cobalt blue, touch of burnt sienna, I want to drop this in along the trunk.
get a very earthy browny green. And I'm putting it on the left hand side of the tree, just picking out the shadow. Allowing some of the blue to show through. And I'm gonna take some of the lemon yellow, add it to this Viridian Green. Maybe just a little in here. I don't want too much green in this because I don't want it to blend with the background. I think we'll come to this tree here. Just put a little water on it. Strengthening it up in areas. Drop in just a tiny bit of the cracked on violet. Barely see it. See how those colours play really well together. And I'm gonna take some of the transparent yellow. And just where the lines are here, where I took the masking fluid off, I'm just applying a little just for the mortar and it's just showing up the brickwork. Bit stronger in some places, but not everywhere. And then I'm going to leave that to dry. I've just added some French ultramarine and burnt sienna to this cobalt blue and quinacridone rose, just to deepen it. I'm just adding some bark and shape to the trees and I'm just laying it on with a brush. Added some branches. And this is like a, a very dull purpley gray. I'm just adding some texture onto the trees. Just bring your branches out with the same darker bark colour. I think you get the idea. Take some French ultramarine and that colour, just put it there. Take some burnt sienna again, just to deepen it. And I just want to run the the shadow underneath the bridge with this colour. You do want to give the shadow some shape, so if your light's sort of coming through this direction, maybe it's lighter on this side and darker on the back. So we take some more blue, darken it, and we can just edge the back side in and allow this to drift. Taking some of your tree bark colour. I've already done a few, but I'll just show you. Pick out some of these stonework and just use broken lines, not full lines, and let the eye fill the rest in. You can start to depict what's in the bridge. Come down here, just a few lines. you decide how much detail you really want to put in. Once again I'm going to pick up my sponge and I'm just going to bring some of this forward just to give the land some shape and just a little bit of texture. I want to put some dark colour on that. Burnt Sienna, 
like a nice dark green. Allowing some of the other colour to show through. I've just re-wet the whole of the river area and we're just going to throw some of the colours in that are in the sky and coming from the background. So that's just a little bit of I'm in yellow tree colour. I'm going to add some more cobalt blue to that. I want to bring the river out from the back but quite dark. Take some pure cobalt blue, bring this to the, the yellow. Don't worry about it mixing with it and turning green. All horizontal strokes. together. Some of the tree colour, just a little bit in places just to bring out some deeper pools. dry there's only a couple of things left to do is that's to put a, a few wind streaks on the water so I'm just going to turn it around for this they always work well in the darker areas so I'll make sure we keep it level all that can bother you and then all that's left for you to do is to sign it which I've done there you can put a mount around it and frame it I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you next time